Calibrating your HD display. The first step in calibrating your display is making sure that the aspect ratio and overscan are set correctly. If the aspect ratio is set incorrectly, instead of the yellow circle being round, it will show as elliptical. If the green or pink ellipse is round, then it means that your aspect is set incorrectly as well. If you're running in 4.3 mode, displaying 16 by 9 content, then the everyone will appear taller than they should, and the green circle, the green ellipse rather, will show as round. If you're showing things extra wide, then the pink ellipse will show as round. If everything is set correctly, the yellow circle should show as round. Also check your overscan. This image has a white border all the way around. If you can see the white border all the way around, you're not missing any of the image of the screen. If you've got overscan set as in a television display might, you will only be able to see the blue. If you can't see any of the blue slash cyan colored border, then your overscan is set to too high. The image in the center of this slate is set to neutral. The images around it tell you how much adjustment have been made in each direction. Pick the image that looks the best on your screen and then adjust towards that image. For example, if you think that the image that's labeled green plus 20 looks the best, you probably need to adjust your screen to be more green. Do the same thing for saturation. A perfectly balanced image should allow you to see all of the pinks of the girl's dress and all of the blacks of the priest's robes. This slate works in a manner similar to the last slate. Find the image that looks the best on your screen and adjust towards that direction. For example, if the best looking image is contrast plus 20, you'd adjust your contrast to a higher setting. This also has some settings for gamma, which if your monitor supports you can use. Most monitors don't support gamma so it may not be useful for you. This slate allows you to adjust and make sure that both your contrast and brightness are set correctly using black and white levels. The two images are inverted images of each other. So if you can no longer see the pleats in the white image of her skirt, and can see them in the black, you know that you're crushing your whites and you're set to bright. If on the other hand, you can't see the black pleats but can see the white pleats, you've set the black too low. There are two little tick marks on the black bar and white bar, or gray bar, gradient, that show you what the most bright and the most black you should be able to distinguish are. Ideally, you can see all of the shades from white to gray and all the shades from black to gray. But if you can't get a setting that works, try and get so that you can see all of them up to those tick marks. If your black levels are set correctly, you'll be able to see the folds in this girl's shirt. If they're set incorrectly, you won't be able to see them. Adjust to make sure that you can still see the folds of her shirt, and then take a look at the curved edges of the circle. Ideally, you should be able to see that the circle has a smooth edge without any breaks. Breaks are demonstrated in the other edges. Some of them have sharpened and enhanced and some of them have been slightly softened so that you can judge how much resolution you have and how much sharpening you need to apply for different types of edges. Hopefully your image is now calibrated correctly. This slate will allow you to determine whether or not you can see all the details of the frame that you should be able to. The green highlights added to the frame show you what you should be able to see in the mirrored version of the, the frame. Look for these details in the pant lines of the robe and of the pink dress of the girl. If you can see all of these details, you're probably reasonably well calibrated.